Good morning. As we begin the actual 39 Malachos, we are going to be going somewhat out of order. The first 13, which all have to do with Sidur de Pas, the process of threshing and planting and preparing the bread, are talked about more, free, more frequently. And so we're going to jump to the second group, which are the 13 Malachos that have to do with processing of the wool fabrics and the garments that were used for the coverings made of specially dyed wool in the Mishkan. The first of that set is what is known as gozes. It's called shearing because after all, in order to make these fabrics, they needed to first shear the wool from sheep. The Mishnah on Daf Am Ayin Gimel, which lists all of the Malachos, records the Malacha of Hagozes Es Hatzemer, one who shears wool, which the Rambam codifies and writes that if one shears wool or any hair from any living creature, whether that creature is alive or dead, then one is Chayef Mida Oraisa, violates the biblical transgression of the Malacha of Gozes of shearing. The tolda of that is what the Rambam calls hatolish kenach min ha'of, one who plucks a wing, one who plucks a feather from the bird. That is the tolda of gozes, because that is similarly removing something which grows from a living creature in the normal fashion. That's the malacha of gozes. So whether that is shearing wool from its from from a sheep, or whether that is plucking a feather from a bird, those are all the biblical prohibition of gozes. That would mean that removing hair from a human being as well, getting a haircut or cutting nails with an instrument or even pulling out one's teeth with an instrument are all prohibited mida orisa. Certainly that means we can't use scissors, we can't get a haircut, can't use nail clippers, can't use nail filers, all of these are included in the malacha of gozes. And in addition, it means that we have to be cautious if we were to use a brush that will inevitably pull out hair of possibly violating the mitzvah min ha-Torah, the prohibition min ha-Torah. All agree, however, that a shaitel, brushing a shaitel, though there may be other problematic approaches to and problems that come up when brushing a shaitel, such as sosero destroying something, everyone agrees that is not the malacha of gozes because the hair is already detached. Additionally, if for any cosmetic reasons one needs to pluck a hair, for example, if a woman finds one gray hair and cosmetically has the desire to pull it out and that's what's normal, then even if they use their hands, that is a, the biblical prohibition of gozes on Shabbos. One final note, what about plucking hairs or feathers from cooked chicken? So Rav Moshe Feinstein says that it is allowed because of the fact that once that is cooked, it already becomes lo more loose and it's easier to remove. And it's not really plucking, that's simply removing something which already became loose. The Aruch HaShulchan gives a different reason why it's per permitted is because he says, once we have cooked the chicken, it is downgraded from a bird to something which is meat or food. And so again, the overall principle of the melacha of gozes is if one removes in a normal fashion something which grows on a living creature, whether that creature is alive or dead, violates the prohibition of gozes. Have a great Shabbos.